All right, guys, we got today a Honda Odyssey. As you can see, we are leaking from right there. It looks like from the dipstick tube, but in reality, it's not the dis dipstick tube. It's actually like this um, VVT solenoid thing. Basically, there's some gaskets on the bottom right here where it like splits. And those gaskets are basically bad or seals. And it looks like it would be from the dipstick, but it's really not. Here are the gaskets you need. Make sure, make sure, I repeat, make sure they are OEM Honda gaskets, like these. See, one goes on the bottom, one goes on the top. They look like this. Make sure they are Honda gaskets or else the cheap ones are not thick enough and they give you check engine lights for not enough pressure, something like that. So make sure you don't get those Amazon cheap ones, you know? Some people might work, but to be 100% sure, get the OEM ones from like eBay or something. They're about the same price, they're like 15, 20 bucks. And yeah, so what we wanna do, three bolts, one, two, and three to remove. Unplug this and unplug this. It's just one tab right here, you press down. See, lift it up. And then that should give us enough, enough room to basically pull out this chunk of metal. And I'll show you guys right now. All right, so we took out three bolts. As you can see, there's two of the same size, which are the two that go together and one big one that goes on the top. As you can see, it's now loose. And basically it's gonna be this chunk right here. See? So what we want to do is just lift it up and take it out just like um I might take off the clothes right here nope never mind that's the seal right there that's bad it's toasted put that right there it's gonna be a plate make sure to remember how the plate goes so we're just gonna put it down like that because that's how it goes and then there's the other seal which we'll take out soon but we're gonna clean this up with a brake cleaner and Make sure our surface is clean and basically install these new uh, seals. I'm wearing gloves because it's super hot and yeah. All right, so we got, got, got ourselves a nice little hook right here. We're going to just peel this off somewhat. It's kind of hard to try to do with one hand. But there it comes, old seal. Put that right there, compare it later. As you can see, bit dirty so we're just gonna get some brake cleaner give it a few sprays clean it up you see how hot it is it's boiling there we go nice clean surface and um We'll just put the new seal on. All right, so we can see there is the old one. Here's the new one. You can see how old and shriveled up the old one is. But all we do is basically put this, <coughs> line it up, put it where it needs to go, which is right. All right, so that's the new one installed. Make sure to seat it. I mean, once we put the plate over it, it'll um, seat properly. But for the most part, it is flush. Next comes up the bracket like we took off. We're gonna clean it up and put it first. And then we're gonna replace this one right here. As you can see, that one is flat. No more life in it. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna put this in first, clean it up, and yeah. All right, so same thing with this one. This one's gonna be a bit harder to do with one hand, but I'm pretty sure you guys get the point. You can see how flat this thing is. This thing is like not even a seal anymore. But basically just pull it out with a pick or something. Pull it in and out. This thing is toasted, flat, nasty. Now we're gonna get the new one, which is this one. Just match them up, you know? See, here it is, new one, as you can see. It's not so flat actually has some life into it and then all it 
does now is just put it on there flat make sure it doesn't fall off or pinch so i'm definitely gonna have to do this with two hands but just put it on there it'll go like this put it on there and make sure the seal doesn't fall out all right so we're basically done here it is uh just tighten down the two bolts on the bottom one bolt on the top and then clean it up as you can see i cleaned it up really good have it running so far no leaks remove that piece of uh, trash they had put over the alternator to protect it they're no longer going to need it we did that for the customer and it's basically good no check engine lights on everything's plugged in uh, make sure to check your oil before you start it up just because when you uh, take it off some oil comes out it's not a lot but always make sure to check it out and yeah so so far so good we're about to go on a test drive but that's pretty much how you replace these two seals are here and it's a very common issue many people think it's a dipstick leaking from like some sort of o-ring right there but it's actually that plate uh these two gaskets but yeah thanks for watching and hope this helped you out